Hello and welcome to another great and awesome GIMP how-to tutorial by Lots of Sweetness which is me, yes me, that's what I said, me. Anyway, uh, in this video I'll be showing you how to create this basic background image that I created myself just for fun I guess. Uh, it's this Call of Duty Black Ops background image for your computer and that's pretty much without my logo but anyway uh, I'll go ahead and open up GIMP I've actually already made an image layer that was image size layer that was 1980 by 1020 which is my same resolution for my monitor and it's best to use the same resolution the size, the same size as your resolution on your screen to get the best quality when using it for your background image for your computer. But anyway, I'll go ahead and get started. First off, I want to tell you that I'll put the links in, I'll put a link in the description below containing actually three different links containing both three of these pictures, all three of these pictures, excuse me and so you can use them for yourself if you decide to but first we'll close out that image text layer and this screw head layer and you pretty much scale this to where you like it this image here once you open it and I have it pretty much where I like it but in this layer you need to right click add layer mask and white and make sure the white fill opacity is checked and press add and in that you need to take your paintbrush tool and make sure your foreground color is black and pretty much paint around the corners like so this is a really sucky job but anyway I'm sure everyone else can do a whole lot better but with that layer that layer mask being selected go to filters blur gaussian blur and blur that by 170 by 170 pixels with the chain checked and press ok once you have that there now you want to right click that layer and apply layer mask once you have that you need to create a new layer on top of that and fill with transparency once you have that there click your rectangle select tool and make sure feathered edges is checked and the radius is at 10.0 rounded corners is checked also and the radius for that is 44.4 and just pretty much make a selection like so and what you want to do is make sure your foreground color is a kind of a darker green and press OK now take your paint bucket paint uh, bucket fill tool excuse me good god and make sure fill hole selection is selected and just fill that selection in with green and click select none now what you want to do is duplicate this to represent what you saw in the previous image or the finished project that you saw first before the video. Okay, once you have those just like so, now what you want to do is merge all those green selected rectangles all together into one single layer. Just merge starting from the very first closest to the top all the way down to the last one. and once you have that what you want to do is go to the layer mode and change the layer mode to burn and now with that you want to just change the opacity drop the opacity down just like so and that seems just that seems good enough I guess and now what you want to do is click the eye back on this text layer here and click on that layer now in that layer 
you want to right click and make sure add alpha channel once you add that image to your once you first begin make sure add alpha channel is selected once you know that that is selected click your rectangle select tool and leave everything it the same as it was once you made these selections here and just make a selection around the text like so this is really quick so and once you have that selection just go to select invert edit cut and take your move tool and just simply move that where it needs to be moved right there seems okay and then go to select none now with that being there now what you want to do is click the screw layer and click the eye off of it now let's move that so you can see a little bit better now with that being there make sure the add alpha channel is selected which it is so um, take your ellipse select tool and just make a selection around the actual screw head itself and I'm making this really rough this really sucks but you get the point and once you have that there same thing go to select invert edit cut and go to select none now what you want to do is take your scale tool and just click in that and scale that down with a chain checked and just scale that down to pretty much to where you want to use it just like you saw in the corners of the main image you saw earlier at the beginning of the video okay that seems pretty good so I'll take my move tool and just simply move that in the corners like just like that keeping it pretty much even with the the bolt the screw head excuse me and what you want to do here is just duplicate that and slide it just like so in the four corners duplicate slide that in here and just duplicate that once again and slide that here now with this being selected what you want to do is duplicate that layer once again and let's drag that over here now you want to scale that down as well and with the change check just press the down arrow and we'll scale that down that seems good enough at 37.37 that's .37. totally up to you so I'm not really going to tell you what it really is because you might want to change that but that seems good enough for me and we're going to place that one there and we'll duplicate that once again and put the other one here as well now with all six of those screw heads you want to merge all six of those screw head layers down to one single layer and now that you have that there what you want to do in that screw head layer go to with the screw head layer all six of the screws being in one layer with that layer selected go to filter light and shadow drop shadow and leave everything at default and just press OK now I know there's other ways of doing this I'm a little more advanced in this and I do not have to do that I can actually duplicate the layer and just fill that layer in with black and and do the filter blur Gaussian blur and I can do that drop shadow myself but for the beginners and stuff that's the best way to do it um, now what you want to do with that screw head layer and its drop shadow you want to merge that down okay now what we're going to do is actually go to this call of duty black ops image layer here and that's right here and what you want to do there is do the same thing as you did just a second ago light and shadow drop shadow and leave everything at default and press ok now you can turn that image layer off 
and you'll see the drop shadow for that and click that drop shadow just like so and make sure your select tool is selected and just selecting that and press the arrow key a few times to the left and then down several times and back to the left just to place it to make it look like it's that image layer this image layer looks like it's more raised and you can adjust that just a little bit more which I think I'm going to and that seems good enough for right now and yep that's pretty much it um, if you like this video subscribe um, and if you like it again just uh, like I said just or just leave me a comment that'd be best anyway so but yeah this is a GIMP how-to tutorial here by Lights of Sweetness and I appreciate all the views that I'm getting thanks everyone peace out